were going to talk about Schrodinger's cat. We said we're going to skin the cat, actually. I have never been happy with the, the thought experiment of the Schrodinger cat. Okay. Um, and just for our audience who may not have heard of the thought experiment, super, super quick. This is an idea that brings together or that tries to explain uh, the wave function and the dual nature of waves and or particles that we seem to observe based on experiments. The idea is that when something is not observed, it exists in a wave, and that when something is observed, it um, exists in a discrete particle in, in, in one position or another position, but not both. So, so the Schrodinger cat, you put a, a poor cat, a thought experiment cat, in a box mm -hmm. with a poison vial and a radioactive atom, and the atom is, uh, obeys quantum mechanics. Mm -hmm. and, and then you close the cat into the box. And, and, and the paradox that Einstein was trying to point out to, to, at that point in his life when he doesn't like quantum physics anymore is that, come on, tell me, Bohr, the, the cat's alive and it's dead. And Bohr would answer, what, what, why, yes. Correct. Yes, yes it, it is. is both alive and dead at the same time because we haven't observed it. And again, what, what we're saying is with the poison vial and we're in the radioactivity, if the radioactive um, element shoots off a proton or, you know, or an alpha particle or whatever, it, you know, it, it'll be sensed and the poison will be released. Right. Um, now, if we don't observe it, we don't know whether or not that has occurred. And in quantum mechanics, as an observation has not been made, uh, the, the thing that was not observed exists in all possible states. That is to say, the radioactivity both emitted and did not emit radiation, and the poison was both released and not released, and the cat is both alive and dead. Very, very weird, very, very strange implications here, but that is correctly what quantum mechanics predicts. So let's peel away that mystery. Okay. Everyone's probably been to the beach or to a river or to a swimming pool, and you know that waves add. add. Yes. And they add linearly. If two peaks meet, you get twice the peak. If two troughs meet, you get twice the trough. If a peak meets a trough, you get nothing. It cancels they, out. They, they cancel out. Yep. So imagine this experiment, the double slit. Let's, let's imagine yourself in a very large swimming pool, mm -hmm. and I'm going to create a wall, and I'm going to pierce the wall with two slits. Yes. I'm, I'm going to have a, a, a person stand, well, 10 meters back, and start splashing, not splashing, but pounding the water. Uh, sorry, pounding the water mm -hmm. at one hertz. And you're going to see these spherical waves expand, and by the time they get to the wall, they're, they're pretty planar. So yes. You can treat them as plane waves. Yep. And it will, the, the plane wave will impinge the, the wall with the two slits. And from the two slits, you're going to get brand new spherical waves like that, yep. if I can do that. And they're going to add in, in a triangular, you'll, 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 they're going to add in the center additively. Then they're going to be, there's at a certain angle, they're going to completely cancel out. Then they're going to add up again, but not as much. And then cancel and then add. And, and that, that, that makes sense in water. Yes. Let's go back to a single electron. We're going to create a double slit and the particle, an electron detector. Yes. And we're going to have an electron gun. And we have the technology to squirt out one electron at a time. It's going to go and impinge the screen, the, 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 the detector, as an electron. Ping, mm. it will make a detection. Yes, a single discrete electron. Sing, and then you keep doing it, and you keep doing it, and you keep doing it, and you're going to get the same wave pattern as if it was water. Mm -hmm. And so what that's telling physicists is that when the electron leaves the electron gun, it's, it's, it, it's being described by a wave function, much as the person doing the one hertz on the water, and they're, they're spherical, and they eventually become planar, and they eventually hit the double slit mm -hmm. and start off as two spherical waves. The electron from the electron gun mm -hmm. begins as a spherical wave yes. in a medium, and I shouldn't say medium because that, that's really bad physics, mm -hmm. the ether. Anyways, they get to the, the electron wave function gets the double slit, split, double slit and, and splits up, and, and you, now you get interference patterns. And the electron will obey those interference patterns. It will most likely appear in the central peak or in the two side lobes with a little bit less probability mm -hmm. or, or on and on. So while the wave function that got split up by the double slit, while, while, while that co compounded added wave function is propagating, that is a Schrodinger's cat. Mm -hmm. That is an electron that is 
simultaneously part of I'm going to hit the middle, simultaneously I'm going to hit the neck, the, the top and bottom lobes or the, or the next interference pattern lobes. Mm-hmm. And not until you open the box or not until the electron smashes into the detector does the, that wave function collapse back to a point. Mm-hmm. So while it's in progress, it's, it's a Schrodinger's cat. Mm-hmm. I don't know if it's going to go up or down or hit the center mm-hmm. until I observe it. Yeah. That's the cat. Yeah. So the cat is not as mysterious as a real cat sitting in a vial, sitting in a box with the poison, and, and the poison will be triggered if, if the uh, uranium atom decays. Mm-hmm. But yet that cat's still true. I mean, the, ma- the macroscopic cat, it, it, it's still true, as, as you said. Yes. So is the cat alive or dead? That's what our audience wants to know. It is both. 